It's been uh, reported in the Times this morning that the UK has spent around half a million pounds over the last 12 months storing small boats which are used by migrants to cross the channel because under current reg- legislation the law requires authorities to keep the boats for 12 months in case an owner decides to claim them. Yes. Now, government sources claim that so far not one single boat has been claimed, shock horror, which is unsurprising, isn't it, as they are brought by human traffickers for single-use journeys across the channel. I mean, this stuff just writes itself, doesn't it? Uh, Exactly. Well, joining us now to discuss this further is Conservative MP for Wellingborough, Peter Bone, who is also the former chairman of the All-Party Parliamentary Group Against Human Traffic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Peter. I have to admit, I wasn't aware that this was a thing, mainly because it's so absurd. Uh, you know, having to keep these boats in case the human traffickers uh, uh, come back and claim them. I mean, what human traffickers are going to sort of come over to England and say, sorry, I know I've trafficked a bunch of people uh, um, into your country (laughs) illegally, but can I have my boat back? I mean, it's absurd. Yeah, it is is absurd. Um, I mean, it's reported that it's half a million pounds a year at the moment, but it's going up all the time. I understand that the place where they're storing the boats is full, so they've got to go and hire somewhere else. Um, and it is a waste of money. Um, the idea you have to keep boats for 12 months because a human trafficker is going to turn up and say, please, can I have my boat back? Um, and these boats actually are, are, are not cheap um, items. I mean, we, human traffickers really is... A, it sort of gives them the wrong term. These are evil gangs. They're organised crimes. They're the people that do drug tra- uh, drug trade, gun running, and human trafficking. It makes them a lot of money because, uh, as we know, the French are assisting these traffickers in the process. But these boats are worth significant amount of money. Sell those boats. Give them to charities that fight human trafficking to reduce the, the problem. Uh, it's a, you know, and thankfully, I, I'm pleased the government is listening and they've introduced it into the Borders Bill, which is uh, back before Parliament next month. So we will eventually get to doing it. But it is absurd piece of red tape. Yeah, I, I mean, isn't this why Britain's a laughing stock? You know, not only will we allow you, we'll pay the French 50 odd million quid to not police the channel, then we'll let you in and then we won't send anybody back if they do come here. 10,525 migrants have crossed the channel this year alone, uh, apparently. And then we'll even store the human traffickers' boats for them at the taxpayers' expense. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Thankfully, and uh, great credit to the Home Secretary, uh, the Borders Bill, which is before Parliament, which I think the opposition parties are opposing, um, actually deals with those issues. I mean, it allows the, the boats to be intercepted in the Channel and returned to France, and that people who come here illegally will face uh, significantly higher um, sentences. And uh, human trafficking will now have a life sentence uh, as as the penalty. So they're going, the government's going in the right direction, but it you know it feels a terribly slow process sometimes getting a law through Parliament, especially when the opposition parties are opposing it. I I have no idea why they're against uh, these these sort of measures the government's proposing. Yeah, what do you think that, uh, obviously, Preeti Patel has, you know, introduced the national, the government's introduced the nationality and borders bill, and it is, you know, a lot tougher, I suppose, than we are now currently, but something tells me it doesn't really go far enough, to be honest. I mean, we're seeing a huge, last year, it was just Mm. over, I think, 8,500 odd, already over 10,000. Clearly, we need some much stronger measures to deter people from coming here. And if that means, you know, it's short term pain for long term gain, surely that's the right thing to do. Well, you're you're right. Absolutely unacceptable at the moment. And, you know, the French government should be ashamed of themselves having their uh, warships escorting uh, these human traffickers. I mean, what other organisation? would aid these evil gangs. I mean, it it is the French. I I don't understand the French uh, on many occasions, but the French government on many occasions, but this is patently absurd. But you're right also in saying that if you take a tough line, the problem goes away because human traffickers, these evil gangs, do things that's simple for them, where there's less chance of getting caught. And if you toughen up on that, if, for instance, you don't, if you return people that come across the channel, there will be no demand. If you crack down on these gangs rather than assisting them, like the French are, 
then they'll go and do try and do something else. So by being tough now, you will save vulnerable people from risk of death going across on their human across the, across the across the busiest shipping lane in the world, right, Peter? I mean, it's, it's no it's no mean feat. Look, I've got to ask this: Do you think there is some kind of maybe secret deal that's been done with the EU here? Because this just seemed like a kind of almost willingly allowing this to happen. I can't believe that we're this incapable of patrolling our own borders. Well, I, don't, I, I think they've come up with a. a, a you know, if, if I had my way, I'd send them back to France straight away and, uh, and, and, and see what the French do. But if there is a problem with the law at the moment and they can't do that, right, well, let's fix it. Government is fixing it. It's in, you know, September, as soon as we get back to Parliament, it's in committee stage. And we will, you know, hopefully what they're doing will we'll actually sort the problem out. But what, why are the opposition parties opposing these sort of measures? That's something I, I also done. It must be, why on earth would any politician support human trafficking gangs, evil criminals? I just don't, I just, they're organized crime. I just don't understand it. I don't, I don't, I don't see how this helps in any way at all. And people who are applying to come here legally are penalized or undermined by all these people that are doing it illegally. Uh, I, I, I find it, um, I find it wrong at every level. And don't, don't think this is migrants fleeing for a better life. From It's not. The, the vast majority of these people are economic migrants, which have paid thousands of pounds to human trafficking gangs. It's wrong and needs to be stopped. Well, Peter, thanks uh, so much. And yeah, I think uh, we're as baffled as you um, as to what on earth uh, is going on and why.